Teacher Malu and welcome back to Math Habit. Okay, so in this video, ang pag-aaralan naman natin ay kung paano natin i-convert ang mga metric units. Okay, so una, discuss muna natin yung mga basic metric units. So, for length, we are using meter. For mass or weight, we have uh, grams. And then for volume, meron tayong liters. So, marami tayong mga metric unit prefixes, pero ito yung mga nakasulat dito, yung mga usual or common na ginagamit natin. So, we have here, kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, and mili. Okay, so, nag-aaralan natin yung paano mas mabilis na mag-convert ng mga metric units. Okay, so, we will... Okay, so meron tayong mnemonics para mas madali natin matandaan kung paano natin i-convert yung mga metric units. So we have here, King Henry doesn't usually drinking chocolate milk. So yung mga first letter ng ating uh, mnemonics, uh, yun yung ano, uh, stands for our metric units. For example, our king, we have K, stands for our kilo. Okay, for mga prefixes natin. While Henry, we have H, is our hecto our dozen ang first letter niya is D this one is deca well this one is U ito yung basic unit natin so ito yung pinaka unit natin ang reference point it should ito yung ating basic metric unit should be uh, it can be meter uh, grams or even liters. Yeah. Sa gitna. Nasa gitna yung ating basic, basic unit uh, which is our U usually. While D stands for our deci. Okay. And C is our centi. And finally our M is our milli. Okay? So, Ito yung ating mga prefix uh, sis para hindi natin malimutan o mas madali natin siya matandaan. So, kapag memorize natin itong King Henry doesn't usually drinking chocolate milk, madali nating ipaplat yung ating mga um, metric units like this one, kilo, hecto, deca, and our unit, deci, centi, and mili. So, ngayon naman, uh, mag-convert na tayo using this one. Okay, let's have an example. So, we have here, convert 1 kilometer to hectometers or how many 1 kilometer do we have in uh, hectometers? Okay, so, na ito yung ating kila. Okay, so, unahin muna natin na basic unit natin is meter. Okay, this one meter. Okay, so, the rest, lahat siya meter. So, kilometer, hectometer, decameter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. Okay, so, we have here 1 kilometer to hectometer. So, ito yung ating uh, prefix na kilo. Ito naman yung ating hecto. Okay, so, uh, ilang uh, move ang gagawin natin? So, from here, pagpunta dito, okay, so, magdadagdag tayo ng isang zero mula dun sa kanyang decimal point. Since ang decimal point ng 1 ay nandito, here 1. Okay, so magdadagdag tayo ng isa as a, okay, here, and dalagyan natin ang zero as our placeholder. Okay, so, y ang, ibig, ang 1 kilometer pala is equivalent to 10 hectometers we have here. Okay. So, what if naman, we have 12.54 decameter in centimeter. How many how many centimeter do we have in 12.54 decameter? Okay. Na ito yung deca natin na prefix. And then na ito yung centi natin. So, tingnan natin kung ilang uh, decimal place yung ating imumu. From here, we have 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, from here, to the right, okay, pa right. So, since papunta pala tayo ng right, yung ating move, so pa right din yung ating decimal place. So, from here, so 12.54, okay, 12.54. So, how many times that low from here sa decimal point? Yeah, we have 1, 2, 3, okay. Since may vacants or blank space here, magdadagdag tayo ng 0 as it's placeholder. Okay? 
So, ang 12.50 for decameter is equivalent to 12,540 centimeter. Okay, so what if we have uh, 3.65 millimeter? So, anong equivalent niya sa meter? Okay, this time naman, millimeter na ito siya, papunta naman tayo sa meter. Okay, so erase natin to para mas maliwanag. Right here. Okay, so from millimeter, papunta ng meter, so ilang decimal place? 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so kung kanina papunta tayo ng kanan, ngayon naman papunta tayo ng kaliwa from its point. So we have here 3.65. So mag-move tayo ng 1, 2, 3 to the left. So 1, 2, 3. Okay, since may blank spaces, maglalagay tayo ng zeros as our placeholder. Okay, so, ang value pala ng 3.65 millimeter is equivalent to 0 0.00365. Okay, so, decimeter, we have 3 decimeter is equivalent to how many millimeter? Okay, so, ito yung decimeter natin. Na ito yung millimeter natin. So, going to the right tayo. We have 1, 2. Okay, 2 places going to the right. So, since nandito yung ating decimal point, okay, two places, one, two. Okay, so, put zero as placeholder. Okay. So, ang ating three decimeter is equivalent to 300 millimeters. Okay, so, ayun, I hope, naintindihan. Okay, so, ngayon naman, mag-convert tayo ng grams at ng liters. So, here, um, meron tayong 100 decigram. So, ano daw ang equivalent nito into kilogram? So, ito yung ating decigram. Papunta tayo ng kilogram. So, going to the left tayo. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, from its uh, decimal place, magmumog tayo ng 4 places to the left. Okay? So, since na ito ang kanyang decimal place, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so, ang 100 decigram is equivalent sa 0 0.0100 kilograms. Okay? So, isin natin. Ayan. Okay, so we have here 3.55 hectograms. Okay, anong equivalent nito sa grams? So, ito yung ating hecto. Ito yung ating grams. Nasa unit place siya. Papunta ng right. So, ilang decimal place? We have 1, 2. Okay, from its decimal point na ito, umog tayo ng 2 decimal place going to the right. So, 1, 2. Okay? So, 3.55 hectograms is equivalent to 355 grams. Okay, now we have here 5 liters. Okay, 5 liters. Okay, ano equivalent niya sa centilit centiliters? Okay, ito ating liters. Na ito yung centi natin. So, going to the uh, right again tayo. So, ilang decimal place? 1, 2, okay. From here, 5. Move tayo ng 2 decimal place. Uh, place here as placeholder. Okay. So, our 5 liters is equivalent to 500 centiliters. Okay, how about this one? We have 457 ml or milliliters. Ano equivalent nito sa hectoliters? Okay, so since na ito yung ating milliliters, so move tayo going to the left. Okay, so ilang decimal place? We have 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so from here... Okay, 457. Okay, from here, mumug tayo ng 5. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, 457 ml is equivalent to 0 0.004, 57 hectoliters. Okay, so, ayan, uh, ganyan kung paano mag-convert ng metric units uh, using King Henry Dasan Pistolet. Drinking chocolate um, milk. Okay, so 
para mas uh, maintindihan nyo, mas madali kayo makapag-convert ng metric units, uh, kailangan i-memorize nyo ito para mas madali nyo i-plot yung mga prefixes ng ating uh, metric units. Okay, so ayan, I hope natutunan nyo yung lesson na didiscuss natin. So kung may question kayo, please comment down below para madiscuss ulit natin. Okay, so kung bago kayo sa channel na to, please like and subscribe and share na din para mas marami tayong may help. Okay, so ayun, thank you so much again for watching and see you again next time.